This huge box just showed up and it actually has our enclosure for Javi and for little Sid. These are pretty big enclosures. I think Javi's gonna really enjoy it. This actually comes from our friends over at Custom Cages that sent them. So let's go ahead and break in. But first I'll show you how we're keeping them right now. And so Javi is actually just in this makeshift thing right now. The cages that we actually got from Custom Cages are supposed to be here like a week before we got these animals. But unfortunately we had to get them. And so we kind of did a makeshift type of thing. And so Javi's just running around here. He's gonna get a much larger enclosure right now. So he's gonna have lots and lots of room. And Sid is still pretty small. So Sid's got an enclosure that's similar to this. We'll probably actually put the enclosure inside the bigger cage for Sid so that it isn't too big for him. Because if it's too big, they could get a little bit stressed out. But Javi is so amazing. What are you doing, Javi? And you can see they always jump in the water to poop, so you have to clean it all the time. That's why when it's set up across the street, in a giant enclosure, by the way, this is just a temporary enclosure that we're even getting now, even though it's going to be very big. He will actually have a water feature in there, and it'll be absolutely amazing. But look at how cool he is. All right, so we're going to actually move Javi out of this area because this is where we're going to assemble the enclosure from Custom Cage. <laughs> Now that we have it unscrewed, we can actually take this off. Why don't we just lay it right on the ground? And these are the enclosures, but I have no idea how to put this together. Instructions in hardware enclosed. This isn't the enclosure? <laughs> no. There's lots of boxes in that big box. Oh, jeez. There's no way I'm going to be able to do this without help. The panels looks like they just clip together, and then it looks like there's more stuff for the roof than there is the entire enclosure. I need a thing that the burn. <laughs> Deck one, assembly of doors and side panels. Well, what's it look like inside? Uh, Do we metal. even know? Well, we need the, we need the, yeah, cutter. Get them out though, it's deep. Jay, unless you can. I can reach in. I've got big reach. They call me big reach from Ohio Fish Rescue. <laughs> That's really bad. I'm tired, dude. But the bottom ones might be different. They look bigger, right? I think that one's the door panel. It's gotta be, it's got a little handle. I'm just gonna start by reading the do not in bold, Brian. Do not apply pressure on the wire mesh to seat the hinges. Do not tap on the middle of the frame, okay? So whatever else we do, not do that. Make sure this is the same width. Two panels in the front, three panels side by side. Mm. And then these go three panels on top. <laughs> So we've rearranged things over here, and again, the idea here with EHB is to kind of move out all of these white cages and eventually make this kind of a, a holding spot for animal educators, put some other caging in here that's going to be for like bigger pythons, stuff like that for education. But these are the cages that we're going to be using for mammals. We're actually going to do four of these cages. It actually goes pretty smoothly, I think. I, I'm, well, I'm not 100% sure, but you can see there's little pins here. These pins just have to slide together like this, and it goes three panels across this way and then two panels this way. The thing I don't know yet is how to do the tops of the cages. Not 100% sure. We're going to have to see how that goes. There you go. That's it. I think we might be doing what we're not supposed to, but that's okay. Do not apply pressure on the wire mesh. Do not tap on the middle of the frame. Whatever else we do, not do that. <laughs> No way. Perfect. <laughs> that was yeah. the easiest one. I think bending it was the move, huh? I'm happy. You guys are in jail. No, I mean, you're in jail. The... <laughs> oh, there. This is really bad. Well, I, I hope that the top goes good. I don't know how that goes. Honestly, I don't think we have to worry about the top. Neither one of these animals are going to be climbing No, no, no. So... But, but structural integrity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See how this is not exactly square right now. No, no, that one so once we get the hang of it, it's actually going pretty good. You know, just kind of get it put together, they go good. Not exactly sure what's going on. I think you screw the top in, if I'm not mistaken. We'll have to get to that when we get to it, but the top will keep it square. Not that we're worried about the cappy or Sid climbing out because obviously they're never gonna climb out of this. But three more panels to go. All right, last one. We got a square. Do not tap on the middle of the frame. Wait, somebody. Not really sure how to do this door. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's already locked. Oh, it is actually. It's zip tied locked. So, I guess let's see if the animals can figure out a way out. Oh, out to go. I'm free. We've got a little dilemma now because uh, I can't figure out how to put the top on. There's one screw here, but there's two screws here, but there's one screw on the outside that way, like almost like we put it together backwards. But unfortunately, the directions we have have a different roof, so we don't know how to put it together. So I think I'm going to call Mark from Custom Cages. Hopefully, he'll answer FaceTime me, and then maybe uh, he can walk me through this. 
I got, I know, I gotta figure it out. So this bracket here, this goes on the outside like this, and they screw together. Ah! And that way you can get the, the top. So this, yeah, this sits on the top, so, okay. So, okay. Perfect. Now just screw the rest in, put the next on, and just keep working our way around. How does it feel to be the first animal in here? Somehow I ended up back in the <laughs> <laughs> Let's find the dumbest ways to do everything. I beat it every time. Wow. It's crazy. This is not what I was expecting. <laughs> is it ever? What, to see Mike in a game? Is that your new home? Yeah. yeah. Nice condo, Mike. Portable condo. Zero commute. Big, it might not be big enough. I, are we keeping Mike in here? Is he staying here all the day? Uh, yes. Yeah, dude. We're having a housewarming party right now. That's cool. I mean, in all reality, if you wanted to spend the night, you could just hook up a hammock in here. That's, That's what I said. All right, so the cage is completely put up, which is good. It's going to be amazing. I mean, Javi's going to have all kinds of room. Again, you got to remember, he's going to grow, you know, some size before we get him over to the aquarium. So this will be good, and he'll grow into it really well. Right now, it's absolutely mammoth. But we also have some feeding dishes, and that's the last thing I have to put together. And then we get Javi back in his new enclosure. So hopefully he probably comes in here. Sorry, can you help me hold this, please? Bracket on both sides. No, no. There's a okay. lip on this side, not on the top side. Right, this stupid food dish. <laughs> it's my favorite part right here. Okay, all set. Didn't uh, didn't take. It wasn't as bad as I thought. I mean, it took a little figuring out, but uh, all in all, it went together pretty good. Now it's just a matter of Lori getting Javi all set up and back at his enclosure and seeing how he does. Hey, baby boy. What you doing, silly? This is your new you home. Doing? You excited? You got all kinds of room to play and grow. New fresh water. Sleepovers. Mike is gonna put a hammock in there. You'd be all good. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you. He's very cute. Come on, do the honors. <laughs> looks even smaller. <laughs> We've got lots more space. <laughs> and it looks like I Oops. lost it. <laughs> <laughs> John, what is it, eight feet tall? I think seven foot, yeah. You guys know that we are obsessed with little Sid here, the porcupine. I mean, look so how cute, cute he is. I know. But today we actually have to give him a little bit of a bath. I mean, how often will we have to do that? Probably about, while he's this young, probably about once every 10 days or so. Okay, yeah, because again, at this age, they pee, they kind of lay in their pee and poo and stuff like that. And he's got a little bit of smell to him. So we're just going to give him a little bath. Hopefully he's going to like it. I think but, he's going to love it. Oh my gosh. Look, look at his little food. He got food on his face. He's so cute. <laughs> All right, let's, so see, he's let's see how he so we're just using this little tub right here just to keep the water. We'll in see it. what happens. I'm gonna just start off by just like putting water in here. I go putting it right on it. Drink it. Yeah, he's sure. loving oh, it. Oh, look. He doesn't seem to mind it, huh? Yeah, he's not even like cooling up or anything, honestly. He's running away from it a little bit, but he's not like upset, you know. You know those quills will actually start to rattle and pop he up. He doesn't seem to be worried about it at all, so that's really good. This is awesome. <laughs> he's like, oh no. He's giving me memories of when we had to give Drogo his first bath. I oh, know, his first bath. And that's the thing, we want to get him used to being bathed. So as he gets older, when he does have a little bit of older, we can actually bathe him up on. It's just going to take some time. He's running I'm around. I'm going to try to hold him and see how that goes. He is literally the most adorable little thing so in the world. Cute. Oh my god, look at you. You think maybe you could do the hose actually? There you go. There you go. You're doing good, bud. Yeah, he's not doing really that bad at all. He definitely likes it more when we hold it. Wow. You did so good. Yeah, good job, buddy. Okay, okay, okay. And I, I think now it's probably good. Let's just let him like walk around in it yeah. for a little bit. He's definitely <laughs> drinking a bunch of water. <laughs> so adorable, I tell you what. Yeah, and honestly, I've been petting him a lot like when he's been eating. You know, he responds to it like that. But he's not like trying to pull me or anything. Like He's doing right. so good. So important. And that's the With thing. the interactions that we'll do when he gets bigger, we'll be kind of like eating. They, they eat like lettuce and veggies. To be able to people, we also want people to be able to pet him, right? Not gonna be picking him up and stuff like that. But you know, petting him is important. So he is just kind of, again, you know, socializing him, getting him used to being pet, which is really important. He's doing 
so, so good. Good job, Sid. Well, that went way better than expected. Javi is actually loving his new enclosure. Lori's in there having some fun with him. The next couple days, we'll build another one just like this for Sid the porcupine. He's going to have a lot of room in there. There's no doubt about that. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember... Well, I got work to do, but uh, I think the Cappy has other plans.